Hello, my friends. In this modeling project, I am building few shipping containers that are mostly old and rusty, 6 and 3 meters, in scale 1 by 35. Foam board sheet, 0.5 cm thickness. I will start with the sides of the container. The first container is going to be 17.1 by 7.4 cm. Marking the sides. I made a mistake. Sith happens. Instead of 17.1 cm, I marked at 17.6 cm. Correcting. Sides are done. Marking the lower and upper sides of the container at 5.8 centimeters. Cutting. All sides are ready. Front and back. I finished off camera. Universal gluing the sides instead of PVA, because it is transparent and dries faster. Using pin needles, if and when needed, for better adherence. Attention! Keep always in mind that after gluing, painting, etc., to let things dry. I don't mind few gaps here and there. The 6 meters container is ready. I will mark and cut for a 3 meters container off camera. Universal gluing the man using pin needles, if and when needed, for better adherence. If your foam board pieces are a little bit bent, crooked, etc. Don't mind it.
I finished off camera for a total of two 6 meters and two 3 meters containers. Using corrugated cardboard sheets, we'll mark and cut in the same container sizes. Then we'll peel one side off. The rest we'll use on the outer sides of the containers for their wavy, ruffled appearance. Marking and cutting. Very carefully peeling off. Exercise patience. Completed off camera. PVA gluing. No need to place a cardboard on the bottom. Completed off camera everything but the doors. Marking and cutting chipboard stripes of one centimeter to use as the container's side rails. Cut them off camera. Also, marked at every 17.5 centimeters. Cutting. PVA gluing the side rails. Completed off camera everything and now we'll be marking and cutting the doors.
off camera cut 0.2 centimeters stripes for the door seals, PVA gluing. This one I need to PVA glue again. Cutting, smoothing out and PVA gluing barbecue sticks that I already had marked to use them as the door's locking bars. Already had cut the doors hinges and PVA gluing them in their already marked positions. Off camera I had cut toothpicks at 0.7 centimeters to use them as the door's handles, super gluing them in their already marked positions. Already done with the doors camp keepers. PVA gluing the door on the container. Using PVA, gluing these corner castings of one by one centimeter. Black primer painting, like so.
the army paint, war paints deep blue, and airbrushing, it may need two or three coatings. Second coating. The Army Paint, War Paint Sylvan Green and Airbrushing. It may need two or three coatings. Second coating. Vallejo's model air, hull red air brushing. Hammer time! I will use this hammer in order to make the containers look old and used, more realistic. Hammer, hammer, hammer time! Using this sponge, not Bob though and this brown color, painting rust. I am aiming for a very old and very used look, so get ready for lots and lots of rust painting. English red pigment mixed with water. Oh and say hello to my little sponge. Texturing away, or as we call in my village, Zagre. Burnt umber mixed with orange and keep texturing away. Well red mixed with orange and yellow. More texturing, yes.
It is more bright than I expected. We'll fix it with Vallejo's environment rust texture mixed with lots of water. Kind of a wash. Painting. Even before it is dry you can see the difference. This one I will make a bit differently. Some brown and red brown. I will be dipping the sponge in both colors and then we'll be painting. Let's go. Brown pigment and with a brush, texturing. Brown washing. Very light brown painting with my little sponge. Texturing with a very dark brown mix of mine. Brown pigment mixed with Vallejo's Model Air Burn Umber and texturing. Keep in mind that all this texturing stuff is my way of doing things. I am pretty sure that there are multiple ways to go about it. I just want to avoid copying others if and when it is possible. Brown washing. From everything that I have done so far, I think that I like this one the most. Disclaimer. Since I am new to all these rusting business, I am 100% sure that it can be done much better and that next time, I too, will do it better. Hopefully you like the project and you will enjoy the presentation.
hit the like, subscribe and notifications bell buttons. This way, together, we can grow a community around the exciting art of scale modeling. Stay tuned for more scale modeling videos. Thanks for watching.